right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. This is State of Society, hashtag my story is another wonderful wonderful show we've prepared for you my good name is mike g as usual and we have a wonderful amazing guest here today his name is morania gm he is going to tell us what gm stands for and he runs a studio and a business called ricky's media solution and or we could say ricky's photography and so welcome tell us who is morania gm and where did this passion of photography start or what would you like to tell us about yourself as the introduction i am just a person first and uh, passionate about capturing moments yeah. capturing lives mm -hmm. capturing kind of moments mm -hmm. uh, in stills and in video mm -hmm. but i am more into stills photography yeah and uh, i have this passion of freezing moments eh? uh, be it happy moments, be it uh, all the moments, all kinds of all kinds of moments. Mm. Uh, usually, when anything passes mm -hmm. or whatever a time of life passes, mm -hmm. there's only one thing that remains in those moments. Mm -hmm. uh, in, that there's only one thing that remains, yeah. and that is a moment yeah. that is captured on camera, and it becomes a memory. That becomes a frozen memory, and yeah. it will live forever. If well preserved, of course. So you said that you do stills and also you do videos. Yes. So you also have diversified in your shooting films also. Uh, if you mm -hmm. if you want to to excel in any profession, yeah. you have to know the nitty gritties of yeah. every part of it. So for me, I started off with uh, photography, stills photography, yeah. but later on got to know motion photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has helped me. I also need to document my own stuff. Yeah. So motion comes in handy. So tell us, is this is this something you studied in college or? I never studied in photography. Mm. I never studied photography. I studied Bachelor of Science mm. in uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of yeah. Agriculture and Technology. Mm. Uh, and uh, science, and mathematics. science, oh, applied mathematics. Applied mathematics. Wow. So you mathematician. Yes. I but that's, I that does help you in photography. Um, maybe calculating apertures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, all or, those, and all those things that the viewer will not be able to comprehend what you are talking about. <laughs> but, but I can imagine if you did mathematics and you do this as photography as a passion, which mm -hmm. to me looks like your mainstream career and your full-time job. Do you do anything else apart from this photography? I do photography. Yeah. Uh, film and design. Design. Yeah, just that. That is a uh, graphic design for yeah for print or for graphic design both for print and okay. for social media for uh, whatever kind of design you, you want me to do I do. So what we try to do in this show is not only get your story, yeah. but to get the story and to know why do you think that you are different from other photographers, and you say that this is a passion for you, and I believe that. There's something that makes you feel like you want to continue every morning when you wake up. What's that? Every time I look at a photograph, I am looking for excellence in that picture. Yeah. If there is not good enough lighting, mm -hmm. if there isn't a good composition in that picture, yeah. I feel that the photographer mm -hmm. has let the profession down. Mm -hmm. So for me, every time I'm taking a picture, I want to think of the profession, yeah. I want to think of the excellence, mm -hmm. I want to think of how best, how, how, how I can present an image better than anyone else could do. Yeah. So for me it's about the excellence, excellence is what I look for. So there are very many details and components which you consider before you can say that this picture is a perfect picture. Yes. And you talked about lighting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to explore some of the things that the viewer may not be aware of. And we're going to see some of your pictures and then when we come back, you tell us about what goes into professional photography. What does the viewer need to know? What can we call a professional photograph? And what may we not call a professional photograph? So here are samples of his works.
got that some of his amazing work and remember if you're joining us now we're talking about professional photography and we have Mwarania GM who is the founder of Ricky Studios, he's a professional photographer and so you're telling us that you do this as a passion and assuming that you have met so many clients now and you have worked with so many people, people who don't understand photography and people who may also very much understand photography and film, what would you say is professional photograph? What are those components which you can be able to say that this one makes a professional photograph? Um, a professional photograph, there's, there, are, there is so much that we, we, we look into yeah. and think of a picture as a professional photo, photograph. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is uh, composition. Yeah. Uh, let me actually let me just start. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me start with composition. Composition mm -hmm. is uh, one of the biggest elements yeah. in photography. That by the time you are taking that picture, you are thinking of whatever the subject you are shooting. Mm -hmm. You are thinking of um, how how that that subject mm -hmm. relates to uh, to the space yeah. or to the frame of of that photograph. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are also thinking of the depth of field. Yeah. Uh, the depth of field is uh, in in matters of what is in focus and what is not in focus. Yeah. As you're taking that picture. Which means uh, that you have the option to blur some things in the photo. Or? Yeah. Probably you could blur the foreground or the background. Yeah. Uh, but the subject must remain. Yeah. In in in, in focus. So the subject in this case is what you have interest in mostly yes and for example a human being uh, if, if it's or a object. portraiture if it's portraiture then mm -hmm. the human will, mm -hmm. will be the the subject in okay. focus i'm asking yeah. because you may be using some obscure jargons and people may not be able to comprehend this but i'm glad you can tell us so that mm -hmm. the obsession of this one is to get the details as many details as we can mm -hmm. but also to a point where uh, someone will even someone will have a question about photography they can now start understanding that this is how professional photography is made so that people don't take for granted these details you are you know talking about but just carry on i talked about composition yeah and uh, depth of field yeah or focus mm -hmm. uh, the other thing i would want to talk about is probably the rules of photography yeah rules there are the rules okay. of photography there are a number a number of rules. But I thought you say that art has no rules. Uh, art has rules, yeah. and those are rules that are there to be broken <laughs> as well. Yeah. Uh, because breaking the rules of art is also art. It's spontaneity. Being it's also not free to so art in, it, uh, yeah. in itself. So um, there's a rule we call the rule of dance, mm -hmm. where if a frame is divided into into three parts horizontally and three parts uh, vertically yeah uh, the, the the corners the, the corners that uh, make the that i think this one would better be shown on the screen yeah uh, so an example of a rule of flat photo means the subject is consuming how much percentage of the photo uh probably about 30 percent that percent of the photo of the, of the photo okay. Uh, there's also another rule we call the looking space, yeah. uh, where you you position an image or mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. in such a manner that uh, the space into which they they, they are facing uh, yeah. is much bigger mm -hmm. than the space behind them. Mm -hmm. These apply in portraiture. So mm -hmm. you know, dealing with clients who may not understand this profession and what you want to achieve in a photograph. It means that at some point you also have to advise your clients on how they should look like when you are taking photographs. Yeah, it it is the the work of the photographer. Yeah, uh, to explain to the client mm -hmm. how to pose or how to just what what to do for yeah. that paragraph uh, for that photograph to be yeah a good photo and a professional. Maybe, maybe you can tell us who are your main clients in. In this case, uh, or you want me to? You, you have many clients, but mm. who are your biggest client? I'm mostly into uh, into commercial photography and yeah. uh, weddings, mm -hmm. events, and all uh, those kind of. 
and, and events. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know if mentioning uh, a particular person, be, a particular client would be a good idea here. I don't think it's a problem, unless they <laughs> uh, do something that is legal. I have uh, shot for Birmingham hotels. Okay. Uh, I have also shot for Centurion hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have done a number of weddings yeah. and portraits. Uh, those ones, you know, those are just one person. Unless I'm mentioning Moja Moja, yeah. that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's a big list. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And would you say that? There is growth in this one. Have you reached a point where mm. there is no more growth? Like you know everything you need to know about photography. You can never get to know everything. Yeah. Uh, photography in my life as in my life as a photographer, yeah. I'm always learning new things. Uh, sometimes very minute stuff. Yeah. Sometimes even so much, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known. I don't know if I didn't go to to the extent of learning. Mm -hmm. So every time for me is a learning time. Mm -hmm. I, I like to interact with people, get to know uh, more and more from different photographers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's always a learning process. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a short break now and when we come back he's going to tell us about equipment because photography and film is not a cheap job, they say. And mm -hmm. so we wish to know what goes into setting up a studio or materializing, you know, a good set of, uh, you know, photography. I see you guys using umbrellas and flashes and some of the things we may not know what they are for. But after the break, you will perhaps tell us what all this is. So we thank you for joining us and we take a short break and we'll be back in a moment. Hello and welcome to Experience Media, where we tell you the story. your story and give you the best of color and resolution. TV promos, adverts, events like weddings, parties and conferences, music videos, documentaries, films and photography. We give you high definition images and videos for your websites, YouTube, WhatsApp and Instagram. Our job is to simply make you stand out. Experience. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are glad that you're still with us. We are hosting a very remarkable young man here. He's Moarania GM. Reiki Studios is his business company name and how he's known to many people. We're talking about photography as a passion, as a career, and as a profession. So you told us that this for you is a passion and that you've worked with many people and you shoot for events and many other different occasions. So you are abroad in a sense. Now, my other question is understanding that photography is not a cheap job and you need to deliver and to give something that's really good quality. and from where we are today in 2016, we cannot make photographs that we used to make in, you know, years back. So what can you say about the cost of making good photography? Making good photography, actually, you can use any, any camera to do good photography. Uh, what really matters yeah. is the amount of lighting you do to a picture. Mm -hmm. Because light is everything. Mm -hmm. If you provide good lighting, mm -hmm. You can even take pictures pictures with a phone. So um, invest much if you if you're beginning if you're a beginning photographer invest more in light. Yeah. Uh, and then probably get upgrading your camera with time mm -hmm. to get uh, even cameras that can do very good photos in low light situations. So give us a mm. a, a breakdown of a starter. Let's assume myself as Mike G, I want to start a photography thing and I have a passion for that one. Mm -hmm. So what would you advise me to do? And maybe some of the mistakes people do when they start thinking about photography or when they venture into photography. 
I think one mistake that a number of people do mm -hmm. when beginning in beginning photography is you get into the industry without yeah. really knowing what what direction you want to take in photography. Yeah. Uh, if you want to be a professional photographer, mm -hmm. you have to decide whether you, you want to go the portrait away or you you, you want to go landscape yeah. or or do other kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so whether you, if you're doing landscape, mm -hmm. uh, what you will need could be much more different than mm -hmm. the person who's doing portraiture. In and terms of the equipment. Yeah, in terms of mm -hmm. equipment purchase. Mm -hmm. However, cameras are, are, the cameras are the same ones. Eh? Yeah. Uh, whichever camera you decide to, to take on, mm -hmm. then you can do each, you can do any, mm -hmm. any of those jobs with that camera. Okay. Uh, now I think I want to just speak a little about choosing a camera yeah uh, when you're choosing a camera uh, first of all you have to consider your budget yeah because I cannot tell you to go for a camera that is costing 500,000 shillings mm -hmm. when what you have in your account is uh, maybe 50,000 shillings yeah uh, that would be way above your budget mm -hmm. but uh, for, for for whatever amount of money you have yeah. I think about about 50,000 shillings mm -hmm. you, you have a camera so that camera you have a camera that, mm -hmm. that, that that fits your budget. Uh, so apart from the camera, because mm -hmm. there's a camera and you talked about lighting, are there other few things which maybe they complement this equipment, this camera? Yes, there are. There is so much that complements the cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are in portraiture and you want to do studio photography, mm -hmm. uh, portraiture is Nizila Zawatu. Portraits, yeah. Okay, okay. Basically, taking portraits of people. Mm -hmm. If you are doing portraiture, mm -hmm. you will need probably backdrops yeah. or backgrounds. There is a video that we have done with the umbrellas. What do you call those? Uh, as if there's a flash. Diffusers. Or diffusers. There are, there are diffusers yeah. uh, to soften the light. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe triggers that mm -hmm. will connect the camera to. To those lights. Yeah. Uh, if I'm going to give a list of items that that you will need in yeah. a studio, mm -hmm. I can. What I'll start by is I'll start with the camera. Yeah. I'll uh, then go into uh, the lights. Mm -hmm. Now for the lights, there are lights that come with their own triggers. Yeah. And there are lights that you have to buy different triggers for uh, to to connect with the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there, the lights. Needs, need to be diffused mm -hmm. so that uh, the, 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 the the subject does not get a lot of light yeah. coming mm -hmm. onto them or, or so, the light so you, you also need, harsh you also need stuff to diffuse this light or it's something that is on the lighting uh, like the some lighting are bought with the lights yeah. some are bought with the light kits mm -hmm. uh, while others you just buy the, the light kit and then yeah. you can even custom make this uh, so it's quite, a, it's quite a list of Things which you it's not too much a list. It's okay. not too much a list. Just camera, mm -hmm. lighting, diffusing and the backgrounds. Okay. Yeah. So I know you meet very many people and you've said this also. Mm -hmm. And you meet very many clients with different needs. And some of these clients are people who don't understand photography at all. Or maybe they have a bit of knowledge of what they want. Mm -hmm. But do you find yourself advising clients or you just do what the client wants? Uh, for the sake of the profession, yeah, you have to sit down with the clients mm -hmm. and talk with them and uh, get to know what they want. Yeah. Uh, and when you get to know what they want, then you can advise them mm -hmm. on the kind of equipment you'll be using, you yeah. be, or on whatever lighting you. Will the way they need to dress or anything. Uh, probably how they need to dress, mm -hmm. uh, because you have to also put that into consideration when choosing a background. Mm -hmm. uh, so. It's it's a, it's a discussion that we have to make with the client, yeah, uh, to be able to get the most or get the best out of that shoot. And what are the major challenges that you would say that you face now in terms of trying to become a good photographer? Because you're dealing with human beings, and we have talked about the challenge of equipments being costly and where you may not be able to afford all these things at the same time. What are the major challenges you face as a photographer? Uh, probably one of the most, one of the major challenges, I don't want to say of uh, the challenge, my, my, my own challenges, but I want to say one of the major challenges of a startup photographer, yeah. 
would be would be financing yeah once you buy a camera mm -hmm. uh, and you want to start making pictures you mm -hmm. want to start making beautiful images mm -hmm. you will start thinking about lights mm -hmm. and and they are not cheap mm -hmm. so you will need cash to yeah. go get those lights yeah and uh, uh, a number of uh, a number of photographers mm -hmm. are not employed yeah so they yeah, may not employed. have uh, they are self-employed. They may not have. And you say a number of photographers, but how do yeah. you know whether they're not employed? I, myself, oh. I didn't start as an employed <laughs> photographer. <laughs> okay. So, so and I've met a number of photographers too yeah. who so are who not. That employed. is their full-time thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so purchasing equipment mm -hmm. that is expensive sometimes you will need some uh, some boosts yeah. in, in terms of finances, huh? mm -hmm. and uh, probably the banks, the learning institutions mm -hmm. are want. A record mm -hmm. of this is how I've been saving up money. This is how I'm receiving money. Mm -hmm. This is my income statement. Yeah. Uh, and so they will lead me mm -hmm. according to my statement. Yeah. Uh, well, this is Kenya. We have not really mm -hmm. uh, gotten to know much yeah. about saving plants. Mm -hmm. And uh, when starting out, that becomes a very big challenge. Yeah. However, when you, when you start and you start banking, mm -hmm. uh, you are at good. You are at a better position mm -hmm. to, to to get finance. Yeah. Where would you rate our quality of photography and video? There's a lot Can of potential in Kenya. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talent in Kenya, mm -hmm. and so yes, we have a number of photographers in okay. Kenya, but there is still mm -hmm. uh, room for more. Mm -hmm. There's still room for more. Actually. Uh, it is not saturated, the, the industry yeah. is not saturated yet. We really appreciate your watching of this show. Please keep watching and we promise you that we are going to bring you best of the best. Remember, it's all about finding the X factor in all these stories. So until next time, see you later.